And if there's one man who got his fair share of fame this week, it's Thamsanka Jantier, the man fake sign, faking sign language at the memorial of former South African leader Nelson Mandela. Jantier was accused of signing in gibberish during the service. Afterwards, he gave a number of peculiar stories as to why he couldn't effectively do the job. For one, he told news outlets that he had been suffering from schizophrenia had been hearing violent voices in his head and was hallucinating visions of angels flying into the stadium. Interesting. When asked by the Associated Press how often he had become violent in the past, he said, quote, a lot, but declined to provide details. Well, interestingly, we now know a little bit more about his violent past. According to the South African news website, ENCA.com, Jantier has had a number of run-ins with the law. It says Thamsanka Jantier, who is being treated for schizophrenia, has also faced rape, 1994, theft, 1995, housebreaking, 1997, malicious damage to property, 1998, murder, attempted murder, and kidnapping charges, 2003. This raises a whole lot of questions over whether this man was vetted and how he was able to get within just three feet of so many world leaders, including President Obama.